How's it going, everybody? And welcome to my first episode of Lies of P. Well, first episode if you don't include the demo. I've played the demo for this. It's on the channel. If you haven't seen it, you can go check it out. Um, I don't really know if you need to. I don't know where this game starts. I don't know if it starts where the demo did or if it starts in a whole different area. But we're about to find out. This is a Pinocchio Souls-like game. If that makes sense. Like the combat is like Dark Souls or Demon Souls, whatever. But you play as Pinocchio. It's kind of like Sekiro in a way too, because you can like change his arm stuff. I don't know. But um, we're gonna hop right into this. Um, the demo had its difficult moments, but um, we ended up beating it. So I have full faith in myself that we can get through this, but we'll see. In honor of the great writer, Carlo Collodi. Can you hear me? This seems like it's starting how the demo did. Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Yeah, this is starting exactly like how the demo did. Which is fine. Because I'm going to need a refresher. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. For me? Little old P? There's Jiminy. What happened with Jiminy here? So got up on the D pad, down on the D pad, yada la yada la da 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 da. I'd already note all this. Jiminy looks like he had a disaster here. That's useful. All right. I think. I think right through here is uh. And where we get our weapon. Get you out of there. Find something that might help. Something that really I really like about this game is the character design with the the puppets and the the, the clowns safe. looking thingies. With one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. I didn't mean to talk over her. But yeah, I love the character design and just from what I saw in the demo, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, in the demo, I used the Path of the Cricket, which I think I liked that the most because I tried this. I've never really been much of a heavy weapons type of guy, so I'm going to go with the balanced again. He can use his left arm. Uh, well, I don't know. Yeah. So you can, like, sharpen this, the, your weapon, and that's pretty awesome. You can get a whole bunch of different things for his weapon. Or for his arm, is what I meant to say. The game looks good. I mean, the demo looked good, but it, it still looks great. I remember that guy in there. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. There's a maximum number of pulse. Maximum number of 
times pulse cells can be used. When you reach a maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged. Okay, it comes, yeah, duh. I knew that. It's kind of cool that they, like, all this is blood, but I think that's, like, human blood. It's, like, when you fight these guys, though, it's, like, oil. Like, the, the guy that's in here with the police baton, the one in there, there, that guy, he's, a. Uh, it's just creepy to me, and I love it. I don't- I don't know why. We'll go show him a thing or two. Just a minute. The zaps me? Yep. I gotta go this way. I remember now. You can block enemy attacks by guarding. If you guard it successfully, your character will take reduced damage, but it consumes stamina. The reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates, but gradually decreases over time. While you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover health points. If a guard succeeds... Right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. When a perfect guard is, is successful, you will not receive damage, only stamina is consumed. You can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon, or put the enemy in staggerable status. Look at that creepy ass puppet guy up there. Just twitching his life away. Twitching the life away. Oh! I forgot they have guns. I feel slow. Oh no. This might be rough. Might have a rough go out of here for a minute. Oh shit. Thermite. I bet that guy's weak to thermite. Oh yeah, this is when it tells me how to sneak attack. Gosh, dang, I think he's dead. Oh, hello. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a Bioshock, but not in water. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw huge puppets smashing people to death in there. I locked the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you even if it's not much. Please survive. Anyone. I seen ya. 
The thing that's so addictive about these types of games is just uh, once you get into the flow of the combat for these, it's extremely fun. And plus, just like, you're gonna die. You're gonna die a lot. But when you finally overcome whatever keeps killing you, it's just such a rush. Like, I'm willing to bet this guy kills me. This is telling me about the lock device that electrocuted me. It's a shortcut that I can unlock. So, I mean, that's another thing that's nice. I can unlock the shortcut. So now when, if, or when he kills me, I can just come right back in here instead of walking around. Let's see if I can give this guy the old wall four though. Oh, started off strong. Hold. Okay, yeah, that's right. Right trigger for a charge attack. While you're attacking, a white outline will appear around the enemy's health bar, health points bar. When this happens, you can take make. The, can make the enemy staggered with a charge attack. Fatal attack, face a staggered enemy, press right bumper. Fatal attack can be performed on staggered enemies. If successful, it can inflict heavy damage. Yeah, that's nice. I can't believe I did him on the first try. I really thought he was going to kill me. This means I still got it. I don't remember what to do now, though. Oh wait, he gave me a key, that's right. And then I can use it over here. Welcome to Craft. A new era of I said Venigni. That's not how you pronounce it. I don't remember. I'd have to go back and listen or watch my other video to remember. But for now, it's Venigni. These are like your bonfires from uh, Dark Souls. Yep, stargazers for fully recovering HP and stamina as well as charging your pulse cells. You will be revived at this point in case of death. Remember, this process also revives enemies, not just your character. And I think this is where you level up. It's called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. Our threshold exceeds danger estimates. Please reduce positive numbers or reset danger parameters. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment... Gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever. So be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Yeah, storage, level up. So, with my knowledge from the demo, I still have no idea what to level up. I'm trying to think of what I ran out of a lot. Maybe stamina?
That'll work. Still have 720. Need 788 to level up. I could use these. There. Sawtooth wheel, a cog wheel that is a common sight in crack. It can be thrown to draw enemies' attention. Welcome to the city of Krat in honor of Valent. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't think this was a horror game. Or I'm just a bitch. I didn't mean to do that. I just yeeted the shit out of my firebomb. Uh, use Blade Fable Arts. Um, use Handle. Okay. Yeah. Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own Fable Art. Fable Arts use up Fable Slots. And different Fable Arts use a different number of slots. Charge Fable Slots by attacking enemies with weapons. There you go, there's a fable art. I did that just for you. You. One of the best things you can do in these types of games is try to single them out or group them to where you can hit them all at the same time. I've learned. I feel like I'm pretty strong. Get the most loyal servant. I remember there's a bunch of dogs somewhere around here. Oh, there's one. Krat Grand Exhibition has delayed. Oh, has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Venigni. Venini. Is it Venini? The G is silent? Venini Company. I don't remember. Kratz's largest puppet factory announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. A task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there is no quick solution as of now with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. 
as the city braces for resurgence of petrification disease of the petr petr petrification disease the, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety however many citizens are trying to escape through Krat central station intensifying the general chaos Whoa. I love how everything looks wet. So I think there's a shortcut up here that's locked, right? Maybe not. I remember running this way a lot. Yeah, it is locked. His footsteps scared me. It sounded like someone was behind me. like I did on Sekiro and just smash left bumper and pray I parry I can jump over those. No. That looks like a uh, lady D from Resident Evil 8. Dim Dimitrescu, whatever her name is. What'd that say? Do we like that better on or off? Off gives it a really spooky vibe. Some enemies become red and use strong attack called a fury attack. You can't dodge or guard fury attacks, but you can counter with a perfect guard. Ow. Wait. Oh. Oh man. I'm terrible at anticipating attacks. Damn. That's neat looking. I'm pretty sure I'm coming up on a first boss. If it's like the demo. I need to... Might as well use it. I'll get it back. 
I can get it back. I wonder. Dang it. That dog to do backflip? <laughs> I keep hitting next. I itched my butt. What game have I played recently where X is the attack button? Can't think of one. Unless it was Star Wars, but that was a while ago. Urgent repair tool? What was that? What was that noise? Oh, I got health back. That poor chap. Dog was just mowing down on his butt. I thought I heard something. I can't wait to see what other kind of outfits there are in this. Yeah. There's a boss up there. I love circus stuff. I could. Oh wait, no. There's a stargazer right here. I don't remember what this little fellow's selling. I swear I'm hearing circus music. Hello there. Welcome to Krat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Out here alone? What are you selling? Uh, see, I tried this one out. And I sucked ass with it. From what I remember. Eventually, you can combine, like, that hill with that blade or whatever just any type of hilt and blade whatever and i think i ended up like having a police baton hilt handle with this blade that i have on i don't remember entirely though like i said you're more than welcome to go back and watch the demo but i'm literally doing what I did in the demo right now, so. Introducing the parade puppet. Here appears a terrific puppet that will enli enliven, enliven, enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. <laughs> I, do I try my best clown voice? No. 
Hello there. I'm the parade master. I like singing the marching with people. That's not, no. Hello there. I'm the parade master. I like singing and marching with people. The parade master has the following functions. 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter and 54 parade phrases, parade dances to delight children, the strength to carry six men on his shoulders. The parade master was made big in commemoration of the grand exhibition. Check out his charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. Let's see if we can kill this guy in our first try. We meet again, Puppet Master, uh, Parade Master. I remember I ended up blocking those too. I, I just gotta... Pretty sure if you can stagger those heavy hits, you can do a lot of damage. He takes his head off here in a minute. Yeah, like now. gonna get me. No. If you die in a boss battle, death ergo is created at the entrance to the boss area. That's nifty. The good thing about these guys, like these first three bosses, is I've beat them before, so I know I can. I just got to get their moves and stuff down again. Especially ones like that. Oh, this is a rough start. to redo this one.
Hang it. I can try. That's really good. That's really good for me. Don't judge me. That was a lot easier than the first time I fought him. Uh, quartz. Shit. What did that say? Where are those at? Where's them things at? Can I just look in my bag? Right here. P organ ability activation part. Um, at the end of the demo, I just got into those. So I'm still not entirely sure, but it's a tiny ergo fragment. It activates a special ability when equipped to the P organ. There's a special kind of ergo with different color and vibration. The workshop uses this gym to bring out puppets, different abilities. Cool. All right, everybody, I think that is a good spot to stop this first episode. We be our first boss and things are going a lot more smooth than I thought they would. Uh, but I didn't know we were going to start where the demo did. But um, anyways, uh, I really like this game so far. I love the, the atmosphere. I love the circusy puppety puppetry thing, whatever. I love the creepiness of it. And you got Jim and you got Pinocchio so cool but anyways if you happen to be new here feel free to leave a like subscribe comment down below and uh be sure to tune in for the next video take care of yourself we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye